So we are going to tie the ultra dynamic sky temperature into the inventory HUD so that way it is visible. Um, I'm not going to do any functionality to when it gets my cat's being a dick to when it gets you know above a certain temperature or below a certain te certain temperature your health begins to deteriorate whatever else I may do that in a later video um, I do plan on doing that in my own game but at this moment in time I am not so what we need to do here is drag in a text block So, my daughter was just talking to me. Um, we're going to, to make this easiest, we're just going to go in here and type in HUD. Yours might be in a different spot if you're using SGKV1, but the situation should still be the same as long as you have Ultra Dynamic Sky. So, for here, we're just going to type in temp. We are going, I'm going to anchor it in the bottom left because I'm going to put it down here. Uh, text block is going to say temp. We're going to size the context to you. We're going to throw you down about right there. Then we're going to do another one. And we are going to also size to context it. We can go ahead and leave it blank like that. I'll put this as temp readout. And we'll drag that about right there. Yep. Nope. Does that look right? Yeah, the T is the same. All right. And then for this text block for temp readout, we're going to go to bind. We're going to create a binding. And we are going, yeah, we're going to go here and we are going to cat, nope, I'm sorry. Get actor of class. And from get actor, we are going to get the ultra dynamic weather and out of here we're going to get current temperature why is it doing this to me again I didn't have to do this last time maybe I had it unchecked already whatever oh not weather sorry get current temperature you can choose whichever you like. Me, I'm going to go Fahrenheit. And if we just, you know, straight up drag it and drop it like that, we have a slight problem. You have the numbers at the end of it. We don't want that. So what we want to do is, boom, delete you, and go from here and go from type float to int. And you want this one right here. And we just go ahead and drag and copy that one there. Compile, save, and then when we hit play, there we go. Now you got your current temperature readout. Literally simpler than I thought it was going to be. But yeah, there we go. Thanks for watching. Any comments, questions, concerns, question questions comments concerns uh feel free to join my discord at the moment time of recording this video it is currently undergoing some changes um if you do join it be sure to click on the role that is for the unreal 4 engine unreal engine 4 tutorials uh to stay up to date and the tutorial video help is also under the same thing if you're also want to follow the roles for the two video games that I am currently making, you can also do that. Um, but yeah, that is that for now. All right. Thank you. Bye.